good afternoon friends genuine friends only so I've been working my little ass off studying um, since midday I'm about to knock off I've had yeah I mean, I've, I've nipped out of a few cigarettes I've had a real quick lunch break but apart from that it's intense 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 study so uh, I've now got to find my surgical mask that's my next job for the next next part of today tonight whatever until I find one I need that here urgent um, what else um, yeah once I've got my mask I need some gloves obviously if I'm doing a rapid response um, you know I, I, I need to be ready and I do I, I can't go out until I'm ready uh, the, the most important thing here is uh, any NHS volunteers do not put themselves at any risk to be going out to be saving people because all you're doing is causing, you know, obviously more stress to the national health and everything else. It always has to be considered. Now, I haven't noticed the police all day at the ranch. And, and I'm honestly thinking, these police officers must keep coming to the ranch because they know that dog was baited. And they know full well if that, if that person is found, um, they're going to be put under police protection because you don't go around baiting dogs. Uh, that's just not acceptable. This is a nation of dog lovers, of course, isn't it? Great UK, animal lovers. So I'm guessing that's why the police keep turning up there every five minutes at the moment. You know, there's no street drinkers out there, so it can't be to move them along now, can it? No, they're looking for the dog baiter. Now, people talk, even people stupid enough to do fucking shit like that, because they will come back and haunt you. And they will, yeah. And I can't say what happened when my dog was baited because I have to go into the, the no comment phase. Um, and that's it. And that's it, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, I'll say bye for now because I've got to go back and sort out my surgical mask. Um, and it's got to be almost tea time. So I have officially knocked off from Ebola studies. I'll uh, be getting ready for the next um, uh, pandemic, epidemic, outbreak. All of them, all of them. Yeah, where well you got uh, Ebola, you know, you've got tragedy, and that's it. Um, I know this virus here is causing major concerns at the moment, and I, I keep thinking, in Africa, they're, they're shitting themselves about the coronavirus, but in the back of every African's mind is, you know, if we've been weakened by this coronavirus that's coming from nowhere and attacked us, and next thing we're going to know is the Ebola will come back, and anyone who survives this one is going to be in for the next run. Um, and it's not funny, none of it's funny. <coughs> so I'll say, I'll say goodbye for now. <coughs> My throat's going a bit. That's not from a virus, because I'm starting to rap really well in Ugandan. And that's something to be really proud of. I've only started rapping in Ugandan this week. Um, it's got to tell you something, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's Ugandan rapping is a challenge, but it's also great fun. And that's Uganda, isn't it? It's great fun. It's very dangerous if you take the fucking piss out of anyone, but you don't. Um, and you respect everyone. Yeah. So I say, bye for now. Bye for now, genuine friends. Those with dogs and those without dogs. Uh, I could say, uh, I could turn it out into Russian quickly, but I can't. Because um, I just want to get this video off and perverted. I say, bye for now. <coughs>